One, I wanted to ask you, get your perspective, Peter, on, you know, I, um, there's an old saying about, um, you want to be in a triangle, um, and a triangle is, uh, data, dialogue, and speed. And just looking at what you've kind of walked through here, I think I can imagine you walking into your head of supply chain's office or Zoom or Teams, whatever, and you've got all this information. Um, how do you think about, you know, it was one of the learnings you mentioned earlier in timing. Um, what are the one or two key messages you deliver to that supply chain leader? Um, with this data, because, uh, you know, I think sometimes it's, you, you don't want to boil the ocean. You want to say, hey, look, here's two key things. Um, just interested in your perspective there, because I think many people would probably have such a robust data set and not actually know how how to begin to mobilize it internally. Yeah, uh, it's a great question. And, you know, I wish I had the answer all the way figured out, but I'll tell you where I am on the journey. Um, I do think, you know, you, you have to start with the end goal and the vision and defining the ROI. Mm -hmm. So if I'm pitching this to a leader, this actually might be the slide I start with, with, mm -hmm. hey, I can go rescue 6 million in sales and get you a lot more efficient in the supply chain. Let me tell you how, right? And right. starting backwards and working your way from there. The other, you know, um, the other learning I'd have is, it does depend on how how passionate your organization is about advancing data and technology. And I'll, I'll say that knowing every leader will say they are, but it's a little bit of like, watch what I do, not what I say, right? And, right. you know, if they are passionate about it, then you own showing them how uniquely beneficial this data set is. You know, I might go back to the part of the conversation where I talked about, this is not an out of stock signal in most cases. This is a unique insight that's telling you your on-shelf availability. And in many cases, when that is a controllable solve towards on-shelf availability, I think if you prove to them, there is nowhere else you can get that type of insight across the market, across 700 plus retailers. If they are a good leader, they should be interested in knowing more.